Okay, if you if you just you release the clutch slowly. Okay, that's it, that's it. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. From Gillette. Can I have a cracker? How long have these been here first? Uh yesterday. That's be 650. Yeah. Two guys riding bitch. What was your bike of last year? Road or just everything? Or just in general, what was your bike of 2015? Um, for maximum enjoyment, it's got to be, and and just just love of riding on the road and feeling like a god. It's either the twelve nine nine, yeah, or the R one, both for different reasons. Yeah, as Gucci as they are and as amazing as that, they're a bit Frey bent off, aren't they? They're a bit, they're a bit every day. You know what I mean? What Panigale? What I'm about to say, my bike of 2015 was the H2R. Okay. Well, I haven't ridden that. No, but and it probably wouldn't have been my bike had I not ridden it. Mm. But it's so unique and so exactly what motorcycle needed. Mm. You know, 300 horsepower. But you, can't, but you uh, can't use it on the road? Mm, there is ways. There is people who have adapted an H2R to the road. Not, the Kawasaki weren't happy about it, though, were they? No. I never thought I'd <laughs> be in an argument where the 1299 Ducati Panigale was seen as the vanilla free Bentos everyday option. Well. Mm. And then the R1M, just because. How much fun we had at Silverstone on it. Drift Merchant. Yeah. yeah. But obviously, yeah, so th thanks, big thanks to Kawasaki who let me, uh, let me ride it. Where am I going? Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I managed to, after a season of racing and another, well, a season for the first time in a long time without crashing, Kawasaki let me uh, ride the H2R at Brand Snatch. Brand Snatch. Brand Snatch BSP. I know, I saw the video. Um, Which is on YouTube, on our channel. This way? Uh, yeah, straight on. Yeah, I mean, someone pointed out, which is quite a poetic, that more people would pilot Spitfires than ride an H2R, and you know, for that, when he kind of, it kind of puts it in perspective, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's true. It's it's very unique. I mean, <laughs> nothing. I've, I've been lucky to ride some great bikes, and nothing can prepare you for brand new slicks, forty thousand spectators on a Sunday in between yeah. British Superbike races, and some knobber going out and trying to ride because there's a fine balance between and no one wants to watch someone wobble around no you've got to ride. ham it up you've got to ham it up and you've got to give it some pictures. I like the rev bomb as you went past yeah. the uh, pits as well yeah it's got to be done but <laughs> I mean, people asked about power and stuff. And you know, do you remember? Do you remember the first time you got on a big bike? I mean, you you, yeah. you passed the test quite late, didn't you? Yeah. But do you remember the first? Two thousand and eight, by the way. People ask me a lot. Yeah. Uh, the first time you got on a thousand cc bike, I went fuck me. Yeah. So if you imagine that and triple the speed sensation. Yeah. It's going to be impressive. You know, going down Pilgrim's Drop. Yeah into the first right of uh, the GP track trail. Yep. You know, thankfully it's got decent brakes on it. You know, they are, I mean, they're some of the best brakes I've ever tried. What driving. are they? Brembo, M50s and, you know, the full... Uh, Jersey pads. Pads and caliper and paraphernalia, it's a problem, which it needs to be. 
Yeah. yeah when you in reach. a minute. Well, very soon. If you can just get into the right-hand lane now, because we're going to cross the dual carriageway, and it's real okay. dodgy. You kind of want to start indicating now. I've never been so, you know, anxious about getting rear-ended. <laughs> yeah. So, but the this this the H2 standard version. Yeah. That is a road bike. It is a road bike. Yeah. And what is it? Is it is the R like just insane over the over that? Oh, it's another level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in today's health and safety cotton wool world, yeah, releasing a bike like H two I don't think. I mean, you could probably get away with it as a as a road bike, but you know, you'd have to jump through all sorts of hoops, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, I, I, it's almost as bad as wearing matching sunglasses. <laughs> They're not quite matching. No. Mine are limited edition of Sean White's, I think yours just every Yeah, but day. you didn't know that until the guy in the Oakley shop pointed it out at the yeah. uh, Thanks for that. Birmingham show. I bought mine on a ferry. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, but I, I yeah, no, I, I appreciate you. I, I think, yeah, you are probably right in terms of bike, unique bike of 2015. Yeah. Because it is... As you just said, in this, in this health and safety bullshit world, it's amazing they even left. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I'm on autopilot. Mm. Um, it's amazing they even conducted and saw through the experiment. I think it's, uh, and for that, it's commendable. Even if the bike was a piece of shit, it's still like well done for putting 300 brake horsepower yeah. on a bike and letting public people buy it but it's you know it, it's a rolling cocktail of goodies technology and unlike anything else really that you can you know obviously there's lots of special you can buy for the same price but there are one-offs and customs and you know but there's, there's not really nothing like how much it. is it 50 something 40 something I mean that's not bad 40 I don't know. The price. standard one's about 40, 38 no 22 is it yeah okay because if you think of a, let's say, a super leggera, what were they? Sixty. Yeah. Yeah. I think in time to come, the H two R will be way more of a um, iconic bike than the super leggera. Sure. I mean, they're common as mutt now, super legeras, aren't they? Yeah. Every track there you go to, oh, Dave's got one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. It, it's not. A, it's not a step change, like the H two R. I don't understand some of the negativity behind it as well. I mean, what the H2R? Yeah, oh, it's fucking useless. Oh, it's this and that. Uh, well, it is a bit, but it's an experiment, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's yeah. a piece of. It was a piece of marketing to put Kawasaki. What are they called? Kawasaki Heavy Industries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to stick a flag in the ground and say, "This is what we can do." And now, whoever comes up with a superbike over the next 10 years and goes, oh, well, now we've got 280 brake, they'll still go, well, 10 years ago, we had 300. Fuck you.